Welcome, new generation leader, to this new lesson for 10th grade. This is your teacher, Mrs. Ayala. Our lesson for today is ecology, second part. Let's see an overview of what will happen today during our lesson. First, we are going to review our previous class and practice two. We are going to explore a little bit more about ecology, the objective for the lesson, and some vocabulary related to it. You are going to watch a video related to the importance of ecology, and you are going to practice uh, using models. Stay connected, guys, and enjoy this lesson. Now it's time to go back to the previous lesson. Yes, ecology part one. We had different activities, but the most important thing is that we practice the use of adjectives. Here, you will see a list of common adjectives. Let's repeat the word with me. Beautiful, beautiful, big, big, black, boring, boring, careful, careless, careless, early, early, fast, fast, funny, funny, Handsome, handsome, interesting, interesting, late, late, little, little, long, long, loud, loud, old, old, quiet, quiet, right, right, sad, sad, short, short, slow, slow, tall, tall, terrible, terrible, thirsty, thirsty, ugly, ugly, young, young, white, white, wrong, wrong, so, remember that adjectives describe nouns and or pronouns. They can be used in many ways, but there are two common patterns. First, we can put the adjective directly before the noun they describe, like this, no, this one, a big house. or the blue car, five interesting books. Secondly, you can use a linking, a linking verb plus an adjective after the noun. For example, this one. He felt happy. It's sunny. It seems quiet today. So linking verbs are the information to the subject. Common linking verb include seems, become, feel, appear, as you could see in the example, although there are many others. Remember the basic point. Adjective can go before a noun or after it. So let's practice. Let me select the pencil. 
Let's recall the adjective that makes more sense in the sentence. Number one, the little or right boy is six years old. Tamara? Yes, the little, that's correct. Perfect. Number two, the wrong or the young student is very smart. What do you think? Young. That's correct. The young student is very smart. Rosa, number three, tell me. We took the fast or the loose train to San Isidro. Fast. Very good. That's correct. So, guys, as all vocabulary, you need to use context to understand what the adjective means. When we have more than one adjective in a sentence, they follow an order, as you can see here. Look at this order. First we have number, then we have to place the opinion, then the size, age, shape, color, origin, or material. We have to follow this order when we have more than one adjective in a sentence. Let's practice a little bit. Okay, here there are some invented examples of longer adjective phrases. A noun phrase which includes all this type of, of adjective will be extremely rare. But let's try it. Let's try to describe the cup. The first subject, cup. Okay, first we have N. This is not a number, but it's a determiner. N should be before number. We have opinion, amazing is an opinion. We have all, that is H. Chinese, this is the region. And at the end, a little is the size. An amazing little old Chinese cup. Good. Let's see the three. Let's say that these are three Panamanian women. How can you describe it? We have, now we have a number that is three. Beautiful. It's an opinion, right? We have tall, oh, a thing, young. A little again, little is the size, thing is the shape, young is the age, and Panamanian is the origin. Three beautiful little young thing, Panamanian women. And look at this. The third one is these are cakes. We have number two. Round is shape and delicious opinion. So the sentence is two delicious round cake. So very good job, guys. As I mentioned, this new lesson is the second part of ecology. Let's see the objective for this sentence to recognize the importance of ecology in our country. And the objective number two is to value the diversity of ecosystems in Panama. So let's see how much vocabulary do you know? Are you able to match these pictures with the correct word? Let's try it. Okay, we have chemical waste. What is chemical waste? Hmm? It can be this one. We have a lot of chemicals here. So, yeah. Deforestation. Deforestation. This one, very good. Rubbish in seas. Which is rubbish in seas? Hmm? Terrible. We have this one. Perfect. Pollution. What is pollution? Hmm? Here. We have a 
have a pollution here. Melting ca ice caps. Here you have a ice cap. Polluted rivers. Polluted rivers. This one, right? Littering. Oof, littering is throwing everything everywhere. Global warming. Yeah. Living thing. Right. And environment. Very good, guys. Good job. Now, all these words are related to ecology. Last week, we talked about ecology. That is the study of the interaction between living and non-living components of an ecosystem. Living and non-living components are referred to as biotic and abiotic components, respectively, in ecology. Human, wildlife, birds, plants, and microorganisms are examples of biotic components. In the other hand, or on the other hand, air, water, soil, um, and other physical or chemical components are abiotic components. So in our world, there are various different sorts of ecosystems, each with its own set of animals and external factors. Forests, mountains, deserts, grassland, seas, rivers, lakes and ponds are examples of ecosystems. So let's watch the Megan's video. She's going to talk about what we should or shouldn't do to save our ecology. Pay attention to this video. Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I'm going to be talking with you guys about the importance of ecology. So even though I'm not big into ecology, I still know how important it is that we take care of the environment. So for me, I go to the beach all the time over the summer. So there are some things that I know I should do and some things I know I should not do. One thing that I should do is pick up after myself whenever I leave. I should never leave any trash or any of my belongings on the beach. And along that line, something I shouldn't do is litter. But I also know that the beach is not the only part of ecology. Even though that's one big ecosystem, I also know that the forests near my house are big as well. So in that same spot, I know I can't litter there. I shouldn't leave anything behind. Have a good day, everyone. I hope you enjoy learning about ecology. Back to you, Professor Grace. Thank you, Megan, for sharing your experience. Thank you so much. Let's see if you paid attention to Megan's recommendations. In this activity, you have to drag the fire to find the correct answer. Are you ready? OK, let's start. What did Megan talk about? Traffic jamming, New Orleans, TV shows, her virtual classes, the importance of ecology, her new friend, the importance of ecology, said Maria. So that's correct. Where does she go all the time over the summer? Let's select the best pictogram. Her house. She went to another country. She went to the hospital. She went to play video games with her friends. Here it is. She went to the beach, or she got to the beach every single summer. One thing she should do whenever she leaves the beach is Let's see. Pick up the trash. I guess that's the correct one. Throw the garbage to the water. Have a party. Talk to her friends. Pick up the trash. Excellent. Let's find the pictogram. What is littering? Painting? No. Mm -hmm. Fire. Oh, 
this is Slytherin. That's correct. So you got it, guys. Excellent. Good job. Thanks. Okay, guys. When you were listening to Megan' conversation, she gave you some recommendations and she used models. So let's understand the models should more deeply. By the way, in further lesson, you will explore the use of other models, okay? You can use should to give advice or to give an opinion, also to make recommendation or talk about obligations or probability and expectations. For example, look at this image of this. The people on the motorcycle should be wearing helmets. This is an advice or recommendation, right? Look at this scene, Grace and Gabriel after school. You look tired. We should go home. You are right. I should go now. In this second, should we include Stephanie in the project? Yes, I think we should. Now let's practice. For each situation, let's build a sentence with should or shouldn't plus the phrases below. Look at the phrases. Put some pictures on the wall. Stay up so late. Look for another job. Worry so much. Take a picture. So the first one, situation one said, your salary is very low. What is the recommendation? Tell me, Oti. You should, right? You should what? Look for another job. That's correct. You should look for another job. Thank you, Oti. Number two, John always finds it hard to get up. John always finds it hard to get up. What is the recommendation for John? Tell me, Jose. Uh -huh. He shouldn't. Uh -huh. He shouldn't what? Stay up so late. He shouldn't stay up so late. That's correct. Look at number three. Laura is always anxious. Tell me, Giancarlo. What is your recommendation? Laura is always anxious. She should or shouldn't. She shouldn't, said Giancarlo, shouldn't what? Worry so much. That's correct. She shouldn't worry so much. Perfect. Number four. Susan, what a beautiful view. What a beautiful view. What is the suggestion, Susan? You should, you should, Take a picture. Yeah, that's the best recommendation, huh? And look at number five. Susan's room isn't very nice. Tell me, Delmira. She should. Mm -hmm. Put some pictures on the wall. That's correct. Maybe the Susan's picture, um, the one that she took, can share with his friend. Okay, look at this example of negative form of shouldn't. You shouldn't have done something. It means that you did it, but it wasn't a good thing to do. Look at the picture. I'm feeling sick. I shouldn't have eaten so much. It means that I ate too much chocolate, you know? Look at the other example. She shouldn't have been listening to our conversation. It means that she's a gossip girl. Look at this scene. Where's Stephanie? She should 
be here now, by now? And the answer, she's, she isn't here yet. She is at the cinema, I guess. Look at the next one. There are a few cinemas in the town. And the response, it shouldn't be hard to find her. It means that he didn't expect it to be hard to find her. Now it's time to practice. We are going to link the sentences. I need some volunteers. Look. I'm sorry that I didn't take your advice. What is the response? You should have come. I should do better. I should do what you said, or you should come and see us more often. I should do what you said, said Xavier. Good. You missed a great conference last night. Rigo? Tell me. You should have come. That's correct. We don't see you enough. Telma. You should come. Oh my goodness, I have a mistake again. You should come and see us often. I have a mistake here. And the last one, my test result weren't were good. It means I should do better. <laughs> That's the correct order, guys. I'm sorry that I didn't take your advice. Hmm? I should do what you said. You missed a great conference last night. You should have come. We don't see you enough. You should come and see us more often. My test results were in good. I should do better. So guys, we you two, uh, with I think, I don't think, do you think? Look at the example. Um, do you think I should apply for this job? Yes, I think you should. Okay, look at the, the scene. Why don't you carry an umbrella? I shouldn't bring it because the weather forecast said it will be sunny today. Poor Grace. You shouldn't believe everything you read in newspaper. Okay, this practice is a little bit different. You have to complete the second sentence, but that has to mean the same as the first one, okay? Number one said, I would be, it would be a good idea to eat more fruit, the doctor said to me. You have to rewrite the sentence, but using should or shouldn't, okay? So, the doctor recommended that I should, mm -hmm. I should eat more fruits. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. The second one said, you really must stay a little longer, she said to me. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think? She insisted that I should very good stay a little longer. And the third one, why don't you visit the museum after lunch? I said to them. Mm -hmm. Why don't you visit the museum after lunch? 
I said to them. I suggested that you, what else, should mm -hmm, visit the museum after lunch. Very good. Oh, here's day, guys. Right? Here is day. Very good, Jose. I suggested that they should visit the museum after lunch. So now that you know how to use should and shouldn't in order to protect our environment and ecosystem, remember. The term ecosystem refers to all the system with living or non-living things. It can also be described as a community of, of organisms that coexist with non-living things. Depending on the context of a topic, the term community can take on a variety of meanings. In this context, a community is imply a collection of different species that coexist in a system. Pay attention to this video, please. Hello, students. This is your teacher, Mrs. Ayala. We live on a wonderful planet. It is full of life and many different animals and plants live on it. What is around us, people? It is our environment. We can save the environment. It is not very difficult. We must stop using cars because they pollute the air. We mustn't burn the forest. We mustn't let water run. And we mustn't leave the lights on. How do I help? I turn the lights and the electrical machines off when I don't need them. I walk or ride my bicycle for short distances. I have showers and not bubble baths. I don't like fires in the forest. I need my home, Earth. Do you? Planet Earth is a fantastic place to live on. We share our planet with animals that live on it, the plants that grow on it. We, the people, are the most clever beings on Earth, but sometimes we don't act as that. We kill the animals pollute the air and the water. We must stop because our planet will die. We must protect the environment. What can we do? I don't throw garbage on the streets or on the beach. I always find a bin to throw my rubbish. I recycle paper, glass and aluminum. I teach my partners to be careful with the energy. What can you do? Okay guys, let's see if you paid attention. You have to say the ecosystem. This is an ecological adventure. Okay guys, you have to get all the badges. Um, let's start with the first one, okay? Our planet is full of Dinosaurs, ovnis, or life. What do you think? Life, correct. First point for the environment. Many different mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, live on it. Animals and plants, rocks and rivers, mountains and trees. Animals and plants, that's correct. What is around us, people? What isn't around us? Our environment, negative vibes or problems? Our environment, correct. What is something we should do to avoid polluting the air? We should take a train, 
we should stop using cars or we should walk. Remember, we should stop using cars. <laughs> Motor cars, motor vehicles. Okay, next. We mm -hmm, leave the lights on. We should or shouldn't? We shouldn't, said Robert. That's right, shouldn't. Oh, you got your first batch. Good. Let's continue. Let's go to the second one. Mm -hmm. Question one. What we should do to save the environment? You have to select the correct image. Drive motor vehicles or walk. Mm -hmm. Walk. Instead of that, we should walk. Next. What we should do to save the environment? Let the lights on if we are not using it, or turn off the light. Turn off the lights. That's correct. What we shouldn't, we shouldn't do to save the environment. Shouldn't, remember. Let the water run or close the faucet. Why we shouldn't do? Let the water run, the first one. What we shouldn't do to save the environment. Shouldn't. Hmm? The first one is recycling. And the other is throw the garbage on the beach. What do you think? Throw everywhere. What do you think? We shouldn't do the second one. That's correct. What we should do to save environment? Here is recycling again or littering. What do you think? Ah, very good. Yeah, recycle. Correct. So you got the flora batch. Good. Let's continue, guys. The third challenge. What we what should we do? Hmm? Let me drag the leg. Cut the trees? No. Burn the waste? No. Recycle? Yeah, recycle. Very good. What should we do? Throw garbage? Kill animals? No. Grow trees? That's correct. Okay, what should we do? What should we do? Use alternative source of energy? It sounds good. Use coal? Use, use petroleum? No. Hey, this one. Use alternative source of energy. Correct. And what should we do? Throw wrappers? Do not litter, that's correct. Throw waste around. Do not litter, that's the right option, this one. Very good. What should we do? Mm -hmm. Reduce pollution. Use air conditioner. Use motorcycle vehicle. No, no. So the option, reduce pollution is the right one, right? Reduce, reduce pollution. Good. The sound bad. Mm. Let's see the last challenge. Choose the correct answer to leave the forest clean. We should prevent soil erosion by growing more and more trees. That's correct. We should hunt down animals just for fun. False. We should recycle paper, plastic, and aluminum. Good. That's correct. 
Yeah. People should develop more and more environment-friendly industries to minimize the pollutants produced by them. That's right. We should discharge harmful chemicals directly into nearby water bodies or the open land. That's false. Thank you for helping us. Now you know how to save a system, guys. Thank you. You help. You help us. <laughs> okay, now, guys, it's time for your assignment. With your ideas, in order to, I want you to create a map and share with your teacher and classmates. What is this about? It's about ecosystem. Think about and uh, provide possible ideas to conserve an ecosystem. Okay? So you can fill the squares and add your information. Then, an invitation to stay connected with us. The first link takes you into our blog where we upload all these presentations weekly. You can ask questions or give us recommendations there. Also, there is a team for you in Microsoft Teams. You can access here scanning this code with QR code reader Remember, from App Store or Play Store, you can use that reader. Or simply, uh, you can access by joining the team with this code. And also, there is a channel, TEL Mrs. Ayala, in YouTube. So you can find some uh, useful videos for you. You can ask me questions there, or you can leave comments on my videos as well. I want you to know, guys, that we care about you. That's why I prepared this video, because I know that many of you have already returned to school. And most of us should do so soon as well. So take some precaution and stay safe. Pay close attention to this video. As the spread of the coronavirus begins to slow, we can begin to think about how we will return to the school. But what precautions do we need to keep in mind? Firstly, you should avoid close contact with others on public transportation by cycling or walking to school. Make sure to wash your hands frequently, particularly when entering or exiting the school and before and after meals. You should keep a distance between you and your classmates and teachers. You shouldn't sit next to a classmate. You should always sit at the same chair. Avoid sitting in communal areas such as the cafeteria as much as possible. You should bring your own packed lunch instead and your own bottle of water. You should use remote studying tools and software to avoid in-person meeting and to keep the whole team tight. Finally, let's return to school once your healthcare provider concerned it is safe to do so. If you follow these tips, you should be fine when the crisis is over. Stay safe. We are in this together. That's very important, guys. We are in this together. Now, I want to send a special thanks to the Magister Dida Crainton, that is our academic coordinator from the National Directorate of Foreign Language Teaching. Also, to all these sponsors that make this possible for you. Remember, education doesn't stop. And my appreciation to Tulane University because they deserve credits for putting together such a fantastic organization with some students. And they are sending me videos from the students, volunteers, related to my lessons. Thank you, Tulane. 
and thank you to all the sponsors. Now it's time for the quote of the day. Life is short. Focus from this day forward on making a difference. This is an unknown author. So remember, life is short. Focus from this day forward on making a difference. That's my invitation for you guys. And see you next week with a new lesson about natural resources, part one. See you next week. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.